Hello, boys and girls, my name is HeartsLC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft uh, here uh, in the Tunnel Board Test World where I have been trying to figure out different ways how to get the stone block from the slime uh, down there. And as you can see from the back there, try different things, different ideas with uh, uh, piston, extender, double, triple. But now I think I have come up with an idea. And uh, the original idea here was that these two go out to the side and the back one here to the back and then the bottom two and these two go in this direction. However, with this approach, I only take out the bottom two in this direction and then have on the uh, sides here, double piston extended that uh, deal with the top two uh, blocks here and this all works nicely as we can see it's not all synchronized because signal length uh, needs repeat there but it does the job however now we have the next challenge we want to get these four sets of two blocks into one single item stream. And with these two, it does not seem that difficult. Uh, we could just uh, uh, pull them up, push them up, whatever, and then work around it. Um, but down here, they are basically uh, squeezed in vertically in this yellow wall and this yellow wall is necessary uh, because of uh, the uh, signal going through here powering the, the triple piston extender. So if we want to move those out we would have to pull them out first to the side and here you can see then we would need to have a block here uh, with uh, this would be replaced by a piston and on top of a sideway piston we cannot place redstone so that does not work either so we have to come up with uh, with a different idea and maybe uh, the thing to do here uh, could be let's just pull those blocks out by one because what we uh, what we actually want to have is a setup where we can ideally push the blocks up and if we have a double piston extender that would pull the blocks out by two then we would have them here and we probably could uh, get a then something like a, a triple piston extender that boosts the blocks three blocks up so that in the end all these blocks are on the same level but let me let me see if i can come up with uh, with a different solution for this part and uh, once we manage to get those out to here and have either free space here on top so we can have uh, something pulling them up or 
free space down below so we can push them up, then we have succeeded in the next step. I have slightly changed the approach here and so far it's for the better because we now have a simpler design with a double piston extender here on this side as well. The only tricky part so far is that we have to make sure that we get the, the signals uh, to the right place at the right time without off crossing. That's why we have here some uh, blocker blocks and need some glass so we can get the signal from down there up to here. And of course, with uh, the signal for this side coming in, we need another repeater here. But while it's not uh, really symmetrical, uh, we can get all the blocks off here. And you have seen this block is retracted first and then this one. So now we have all the blocks off the slime and on wherever we have the blocks we have free space below and on top so i think the next thing we want to do is pull the blocks up to here uh, which means on this side we need a triple piston extender probably from the bottom and then we have all three uh, um, all three blocks on the same level and can start thinking about combining them um, in one stream so let's see how we manage that one i think in the last episode we touched on uh, this design uh, in our attempt to uh, get something to work and then basically decided to uh, go another approach but now this comes in handy again because we need a triple piston extender that is basically flush on uh, on one side. Um, and uh, this can be simplified because this one has a back side uh, like you can see here with a double piston extender that we don't need so we can uh, trim this whole thing down a bit and if we then replace uh, or have two slime blocks there with a non-sticky uh, block there then we basically only need one side of this contraption to lift two blocks up. However there is a bit of uh, a drawback there as um, we need a stone button input that's the, the right signal length and if we uh, press it once so have one signal which is push the slime blocks down but we actually want to have the whole thing up again and that's why we need basically two signals input uh, out of one button press and that's what this thing here does we have the uh, input button here then the first signal goes directly in while the second signal uh, wanders through this uh, delay circuit uh, and also joins the line there and as we have a repeater here in between, the signal cannot backtrack on its own, 
creating an infinite loop. And uh, we want to have the stones sitting one below because that gives us more maneuverability to then uh, add the next step of the contraption to uh, move all the stone blocks into one uh, stone line. So actually we can see how this works from here is push down, second signal pulling everything up again. Nicely done. So all that remains to be done is fit this contraption uh, over here and we can replace these two uh, yellow concrete blocks with uh, a non-sticky block uh, because uh, our slime would be uh, sitting there. So no problem there. And then we can pull these two blocks up and then we only need a double piston extender that brings these uh, three sets of blocks up and we can do that either as well from the top or I would actually prefer if we could push them up from underneath because then on top uh, we have quite a bit of space or not that, that constraint. Uh, we only have uh, a blob of uh, a redstone contraption sitting here on that side. We have the, the bore here in the middle which is blocking direct pass but other than that we should be pretty good. Hopefully this is the last piston extender that we need. I have been looking for ones that would push, uh, push from below like this one but they all have the problem that they have a block here on top um, or actually here on top and this is then where the final block ends up which is a bit of a problem but this one here can pull up the the blocks and then we have basically the space clear here below. So I have put that in place here and it is a bit of a tight squeeze and this is a problem because as you will see it does not work as expected. The problem is here on this side where the redstone for this contraption and the redstone for that touches and that messes things up. So um, luckily with the, with the slime blocks here we can basically rotate this whole upper part here to the back and have the space that that we need there and then we can add um, the other piston extenders uh, on the other three sides as well. This here seems to be the winning design. The three uh, piston extender is now turned towards the back which allows room for the three double piston extender here around this thing. And we are coming with the signal up here, but then we need to have quite a bit of delay because we have to uh, wait until all the blocks are actually retracted before we can pull them up. But if we press this button, you can see that it actually works. 
And of course the triple piston extender, that's the last one um, that pulls the blocks up to the top. So now we all have the blocks on one level and we can start thinking how we can bring them out into a single line. However, that's a problem for next time because our time has run out and uh, we will continue here um, in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, piston extender heavy uh, episode and uh, join me next time when we figure out how to get the blocks into one single line of blocks. Bye.